I'm Bruce Yaney, and today in Homemade Science, I want to go back and take a closer look at the bottle tumbling toy and its construction. Here's the tumbler's frame. The rails have 11 notches carved into them. The tumblers themselves are made out of clear juice bottles. There are several variations that you can make. For example, this tumbler has five steel balls inside of it. In this case, the steel balls are replaced with CDs. In this case, I have a little bit of water in there with some red dye so that we can see it better. Let's give this a try. The design of this tumbler starts with this clear plastic bottle, two pencils, and a golf ball. Our first step is to remove the label, and of course any glue residue that's on there can be removed with something like WD-40. To get the ball inside the bottle, I'm going to add a long slit to the side of it using a utility knife. There we go. Now I'll simply push down on the one side of it and open it up a little bit and get the ball inside and there it is. I'll keep that slit on the side and add a pencil to the bottom and one to the top and I'll place them according to the following dimensions. Starting with the bottom end I'll measure in two and a half inches and put a mark. Now the next step is I'm going to draw several very small holes with that mark. Probably about five or six of them. Those holes will allow the hot glue to adhere a little bit better to the bottle. Now I'm gluing this in stages. I don't want to add too much glue at one time, otherwise the bottle will deform. After the first layer is cooled, I'll add a second layer, just enough to attach the pencil to it, making sure the pencil is perpendicular to the bottle body. And once again, after that second layer is cooled, now I'll add a third layer, just to make it a little bit more secure. There we go, that should be enough. Now I'll go through and repeat those same steps for the axle that's going to be on the opposite side of the bottle. Now once the tumbler is set up, the next step is to make the rails. Now before I make a wooden track, I think I'm going to make a quick one out of cardboard, just to test this and see if it works. Now the idea is to put the tumbler on and just keep increasing the angle until it finally turns. There it is. Alright, so we see that it can work, so now the next step is to make one out of wood. They'll be cut from a piece of plywood 4 feet long by 6 inches wide. I'll start by drawing a line down the middle of the board, and then I'll use the tumbler axles to measure off every 4 and a half inches. Each mark will then be drilled out with a 1 inch drill bit. After all the holes are drilled, I'll then cut down that center line giving me two identical rails. Now that the rails are cut out, let's give it a quick try. Well, 
Well, it works. So now the rest of it is simply building a frame to hold this at the correct angle. To measure the correct distance, I've started by making the two supports taller than necessary, clamped the rails to it, and then tried various angles until I was satisfied with the results. The 2x4s were then cut down to a much smaller size. Spacers and extensions were then added to the 2x4s to hold the rails in place. Here's the final test before varnishing. I noticed that the tubber likes to jump off at the end. Two small dowels were added at the end of the rails to act as stops to keep the tumbler from falling off. If working with wood looks a little bit too difficult, it is possible to use an easier material. If you remember the rails I made a little bit earlier, well I made it into a complete set. It's a little bit smaller, but let's give this one a try. Oops. Now this design with the axles on the outside worked fine for solids, but when I tried replacing them with a liquid, it didn't work so well. And the reason is that the bottle just doesn't have enough slope to it. So we're going to switch from axles on the outside to having axles on the inside. And that's going to change us from this angle down to this angle, which is going to allow it to tumble. To match the rails, the axles have to be four and a half inches apart. Here's a simple device that you can make that will help make it easier to mark the bottles. To drill through the bottle, it's easier to start with a very small drill bit and then go to one that's just slightly smaller than the pencil itself. Before going on, now would be a good time to mark for the second set of holes. The pencils then push through the holes in the bottle and held there by friction. In drawing the second set of holes, they have to be parallel to that first set. After getting the pencils in place, I'm going to add some BBs to it and give it its first trial. Now let's try it with the liquid. Before adding the water, I did use a little glue around each hole to try and seal it so it doesn't leak. Here's another tumbler that I've made previously. In this case, I put dish soap in it. Due to the soap's viscosity, we have to use the minute hand on the clock to time it from the top to the bottom. An average run takes anywhere from 15 to about 20 minutes. Well, that certainly was pretty slow, but I want to see if I can find something even slower. If you have any ideas, put them in the comments below. Okay, thanks for watching and come back and see me again. Bye!